Hey guys, this is Curtis, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to record your iPhone or iPad camera uh, to some external storage, like your file server, a NAS, Mac, PC, um, or even an S3 storage service. So the stream has discovered all of the file servers on my network. Slurdy Bartfast is one of my Macs, so I'm just going to choose that. And type in a username and password here. and hit connect up at the top right. Scroll down. We've got two shares there. I'm going to choose C. Jones, which is my home folder. I'm going to navigate to movies and recordings, which I've already made, but you can hit new folder if you need to do new folder. I'm going to choose that. And I'm just going to say that I want one day of recordings any cameras, so we haven't set up our camera yet, and save and close. I'm going to back up the screen. So there's our new file server that we just created. We're going to remember that for a moment. we we'll go to cameras, missed, try again, cameras, options, add. So here are the attached cameras. I'm going to go ahead and do the front true depth camera. And I don't know if I need to rotate it. That's OK. Let's pick out moderates, 1280 by 720 and 30 frames a second. There we go. Save and close. So that's all we have to do. Now when I start streaming this camera, after about a minute, Streamy will start recording it. And then every 10 minutes, it will emit a recording to the file server. This will work fine. And then you can browse the recordings from within Streamy and uh, manage and access them that way. However, uh, for those users who want to manage and access the recordings directly from your file server, the files that Streamy writes won't be useful to you because they're encrypted and proprietary. So I'm going to draw your attention to the output option right here. I'm going to tap on that, and it's going to change to move, which is a uh, fairly standard QuickTime file format. And FFmpeg, VLC, and other tools like that can play and manipulate it. So I'm going to go ahead and save and close one more time. And go up to cameras. And then I'm going to start streaming this front camera. Oh, I'm upside down. Let's go ahead and fix that. I'm going to swipe on that. And then I'm going to flip vertically. Still got that selected. Save and close. All right, start streaming. Hey, there we go. All right, I'm going to flip you guys around and see something more interesting. There you go. And I'm going to leave you here for the next 10 or 20 or 30 minutes or something. And uh, then we will come back and check in on the recordings. I'll see you guys in just a minute. All right, guys, I think we've let this record long enough. Let's go ahead and stop the recording. Um, so since we wrote it in, in .move files, we can't actually uh, manage them from within Streamy. Uh, but we can exit out of here, open up Files app. Now, you could uh, just do this from um, by navigating to your file server, however you normally do that. But you can do this with Apple's Files app as well. So looks like I've already done this on some, but we're going to make a new one. Server is LartyBartFast. Wow, that is not right. Try again. Connect to server. So Larty Bart fast dot local connect that's right connect perfect so in my home folder in the movies folder in the recordings folder and I believe it's this one nope not that one this one there we go just today 
So we got two files there. Um, and just pick this guy. You can see it's upside down because my iPad was upside down while I was doing the recording. So you can use FFmpeg or something to change that. Um, here's the other one. Super exciting stuff. But now if you want to record a plant growing or something and do a time lapse from your iPhone or iPad, you can absolutely do that. Anyway, um, yeah, so that is how you can record the camera from your iPhone or iPad to your file server, be it a Mac, a NAS, a PC, or even an S3 storage service out on the internet. I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day.